the parties look insane. It looks like a haunted house or something or like a theme park. They're like crazy. At least that's what it looks like from the outside because I definitely did not go inside and was definitely... This was me a year ago, looking a greasy, crusty, hot mess, per usual. I mean, come on, it's me we're talking about. I decided that I clearly did not do Berlin correctly the first round, so I needed redemption, you guys. Let's rewind to the beginning of this year's story. Yep, that looks much better. Okay, let's go. There are moments in life that leave a mark, beckoning us to return and seek a deeper connection. For me, that moment occurred in Berlin. My first solo travel destination. I felt a bond with the city, even shedding tears in a park. Yet, I yearned to go back to discover if that connection was a hope or was it real? By desire for redemption, I made the decision to return to Berlin. It was an opportunity to travel right, to fully immerse myself in the city's essence. This time, I sought to experience Berlin through the eyes of a local, to understand its culture and to embrace its authentic flavors. Try it. It said that getting lost in the city is good for the soul, and so I allowed myself to wander aimlessly through Berlin's enchanting streets. Allowing meaning I was just lost, I kept trying to find the spot, but I couldn't find it, so you know, it happens. I'm dying inside, y'all. The struggle, the struggle is real right now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Time to eat. I'm convinced that Berlin is like the new New York. Like it reminds me so much of Brooklyn and it like in all the best ways. It's like all the best parts of Brooklyn basically. I swear I might move here. Like I love Berlin so much. Y'all, when I tell you I've been lost for like the past two hours. Sometimes it's good to get lost because you end up finding really cool spots like this spot here. But I'm tired and I'm hungry now and I haven't eaten today and I'm trying to go to this spot. And I thought I knew where I was so I like turned the GPS off. And now I figure that I don't know where I am. So I'm gonna struggle. I'm gonna blame it on the jet lag and the fact that I'm extremely hungover. But it's still fun. It's good to get lost. Without a destination in mind, even though I did have a destination in mind, but it's okay, I discovered hidden corners, stumbled upon charming cafes, and encountered unexpected moments of the beauty. Each wrong turn became an innovation to embrace spontaneity and to forge my own path. Um, I keep getting lost and I haven't found my food spot yet, but I'm close. So, I'm very tired, but I'm trying to keep going on. Yeah, I think today is a holiday here too, or I don't know, some people have the day off. I don't know what it is for them, but playing like family reunion music. Oh, look what I got. Ooh. 
The return of my Berlin adventure was a journey of discovery. I embarked on a real, real local food tour because the last one I had, as you guys know, was very disappointing. So definitely got redemption in that. A lot of people think that Berlin's food is like not good, but that is so not true. If you don't think that Berlin has good food, then you're just not going to the correct places. Or, to be honest, you're probably eating German food. I did, the only German food I had here was currywurst, which was good, but let's be honest, it's just me. Like, you're eating a sausage wiener. That's it. There's such a huge Turkish community here. There's a huge Thai community here. You have to try different cultures of foods here in Berlin because that's what Berlin is. It's literally a melting pot of people. Another reason why it just reminds me so much of New York is that there are so many different cultures that make up Berlin and make it the way it is. And you have to try those different aspects of the city. Baklava. Indulging in culinary delights <laughs> that unveiled the city's treasures. Each bite was a revelation, a symphony of flavor that deepened my connection to Berlin and its vibrant culinary scene. How is it? Wow. Good, right? Absolutely. Good. Incredible. The meat is so juicy. Wow. The cheese. It's the cheese for me. Mmm, I haven't tried the cheese. Oh, get in there, girl. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so drink a little bit first. Yeah. It's vodka. I'm not a vodka girl, but we're gonna do it. I think that's it. Okay. And then nothing like this to mix it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, which one is this one? This is just the matcha with extra caffeine. Extra caffeine. Mm -hmm. And then what is this one? Um, pomegranate flavor. Pomegranate. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this. I really like. Like, I I want to order some on Amazon. It's probably gonna be a <laughs> to America, but they're really good. <laughs> Do you like it? Mm. It's a tad sweeter than the normal. I, I like the original better. Yeah, okay. But it's still good. That's enough? No. No? No. 
I think that's good. That's good. Now about one or one and a half shot shots worth. I don't know. One, two. No. One. More. One. More. That was nothing. Yeah, that's good. So they were just building to never drink. Good? Yeah. Oh, you know you have to you have to remove your um, finger as soon as it as the water kind of touches your finger. Okay. So that it do, that this doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you like it? You like it? You can't taste the vodka. Yeah. That's nice. It is. Because I hate vodka. <laughs> okay. That's good. Oh, I keep dropping. <laughs> Is all the stuff still in there? Did you not take it out? Oh, all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think it's why it's dropping those heavy as well. Okay. So, this is um, a Turkish flatbread. Uh -huh. and it's really thin, as you can see. And this is a Turkish bakery. Yeah. It's called Gözlüme. That's how it's called. Okay. And it's filled with spinach and goat cheese. Yeah. Can I have the first bite? You like it? Good. It's good, right? It's so simple, but it's so good. I love how crispy. It's so crispy. But it's I'm also really, really soft. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's missing hot sauce, though. Again. Yeah, it all does. Mm -hmm. But they don't have good sauces, otherwise, they would have asked. No. Them. Because they're a bakery, they don't actually have. Mm. They do the basics the best. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This? Berlin pulsates with energy, and I wanted to immerse myself in its beating heart. I explored the eclectic neighborhoods, danced to the rhythm of street performers, and mingled with locals in bustling markets. The city embraced me, and I felt a renewed sense of belonging. One legendary venue, Berghain, remained a challenge, you guys. I yearned to conquer, but did not on this trip, and that's okay. Its reputation intrigued me, but the destination had a different plan for me. I stood in line, hopeful yet aware of the fickleness of admission, despite not gaining entry. I found peace in the realization that the journey itself held more significance than the destination. Berlin welcomed me with open arms, allowing me to redeem myself and rediscover the magic I had yearned for. Through the lens of a local, I savored the city's culinary delights, experienced the joy of getting lost and finding unexpected wonders, and found a sense of belonging within its vibrant tapestry. Berlin is a city like no other, and you guys should definitely go, and I challenge you to view it through the eyes of a local. Don't just do touristy things, but really submerge yourself, get lost. See what you can get yourself into because Berlin has a lot of things that you can get yourself into. It is a city where anything is possible and it's one of my favorite guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one.